Welcome back. You're watching Kivumbi 2017 here on KTN News. Now, earlier today at State House Nairobi, Uru Kenyatta, President Uru Kenyatta did meet a section of Ukambani leaders, uh, including the governor of Machakos, Alfred Mutua, former senator of Kitui, uh, David Musila, among others, of course, Jubilee trying to make inroads into the Ukambani region. Those leaders vowing to campaign for Jubilee in the run-up to the October 17th presidential election. kama viongozi hawa wa ukambani tukaona mwelekeo ambao lazima tuelekeze jamii yetu ni upande wa serikali kama vile imesemekana miaka mitano tumekuwa hivi tunaangaika angaika bila kuwa ndani ya serikali na tukasema lazima tuzunguke katika counties zote tatu tulifanya mkutano kitui county tukapitisha resolution kwamba tukuunge mkono katika uchaguzi huu na kuja. Watu wa Makueni wakafanya hivyo hivyo. Watu wa Machakos wakafanya hivyo hivyo. Alafu Jumamosi iliyopita kule at river tukakutana tena kama vile imesemekana zaidi ya viongozi na wananchi 1500. Na tukapitisha kwamba tutakuunga mkono ili turudishe ule ushindi ambao tunaamini hata leo kwamba ulishinda. All right, uh, Dr. Alfred Mutua was also in that particular meeting. Of course, he was re-elected as governor of Machakos on a Mandeleo Chap Chap uh, ticket. He has been uh, supporting President Uhuru Kenyatta even uh, before the, uh, the August 8th uh, president, uh, general election, rather. Wengine wanajitulia viti lakini tuangalie kwa mfano na kwa heshima nyingi mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka mwaka wa 2013 alida 2007 tunakumbuka vile alidanganywa 2013 akadanganywa na sasa tunajua 2022 pia anadanganywa kwa sababu hebu tuangalie wanawaambia wakamba tumpigie Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka eti kwa sababu 2022 ataachiwa kiti. At the same time, in the county of Machakos, uh, the Wiper leader Kalonzo Musiwaka was also meeting uh, the Ukambani leaders uh, who support his cause. Let's listen to what he had to say. I don't want to declare Kwamba Ukambani is a NASA zone because it is clear. You can't declare what is obvious. Sinamnayo. Kilichoko ni kwamba tukutoka hapa, tutafanya kila juhudi, networking. Viongozi njini ambao mulishindana wenzenu ambao mulishindana wao, washirikisheni kwa kutafutea Raila na Kalonzo Kura. Musiende mseme we ulikuwa kwa pande hile, apana, ata ambao wameenda ikulu, tafuteni, wataenda, wameenda kutuku chukua pesa kidogo. Wakija ingilieni, imeseme. All right, let me bring in uh, my guests, uh, John Mutambo, former member of parliament for Mwingi Central in the county of Kitui and Makweni MP, uh, Dan Manzo. Um, what is your take on what's happening? I mean, Kalonzo Musyoka, of course, trying to woo, uh, trying to rally the, the, the people of Ukambani, which has been, pundits have called it a NASA zone. Yes. Uh, but the lack of the likes of Musila and the rest are trying to make some inroads for Jubilee in that Ukambani region. What what do you see happening here? First, I was in the Machakos meeting, and uh, it was a meeting of all elected uh, leaders currently under NASA, among others, even some of them, those who did get elected, and, uh, you know, the community leaders and opinion leaders. And it was quite a good meeting and a huge meeting. At the same time, you know, what was happening in Seta was a few losers and those who stole elections and we have evidence to that extent and will present it to court, presented themselves uh, at a state out to mislead President Uhuru acting that uh, by any chance he has any serious vote in Ukambani. I can assure him he should not waste his money in Ukambani. It is sealed off. Uh, and, uh, you know, Makweni, where I come from, he knows a uh, few votes he had there. 
you know, are very few, and I'm sure you, this time around you will not get any from Ukambani. So they just want to mislead him. Uh, and I think, the, in my own opinion, the, the thing in the forthcoming election, some of them will make some money out of it. All right. uh, I think the, 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 the active president should really uh, not bother with them because uh, they are not going to deliver anything to him, including themselves. Dambo, do you agree with this? I think... Jubilee was obviously a hard sell in your part of the county of Kitui. What do you, do you see Jubilee or do you see yourselves getting anything for Uhuru? I don't, I don't think it was a hard sell. Considering 2013 and 2017, 2013 Uhuru managed to get only 9%. 2017, we managed to get 18%, doubling that number. So to me, I don't think it was a hard uh, nut to crack. Number two, I, I really feel for my good friend. I don't know whether he's sick of maniosis <laughs> or something like that, because when you go to status, everybody tends to believe you are going for money, right? And then they are not telling us when they go to Machakos, they are going for money. So I, I, I don't understand where they get this theories of money from, but I will leave it to them. What I can assure Kenyan is that my vote, and for those who support me, I can tell you I'm a proud loser. I'm, 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 I'm proud to, to be ex-member of parliament, the former member of parliament for Mwingi Central. I don't want to give you details of what happened, but whatever I managed to get, I'm proud of it. And I want to thank people of Mwingi Central for giving me that support, and I know what happened. Number two, I'll tell you with, uh, without any fear of any contradiction, without fear of any contradiction, that those who believe in Uhuru Mwingi Kenyatta, they will still give him votes. I'll tell you Mahanzo, where he comes from, he never got 100%, and he will never get 100%. Those few... What's the reason for that? What, what is the reason because for that? at the end of the day, people will always have their different opinion, right. and they're entitled to. Okay. And the moment you say, because I'm a I'm wiper, or I'm the, the party leader of wiper, I have to force you to vote for wiper, I don't think that is democracy. Mishmo democracy is yes. when you let people make their choice, and they choose according to their will. And that is what will happen in Ukambani. Oh. So when you tell me that Uru Kenyatta will get nothing, I will tell you outright, you will not get nothing because he has my vote already. All right. So that is what. Mushmo Manzo, yes. uh, what is your take on the leaders who went to state house today? Because one of them is David Musila, who has been the WIPO chairman for a very long time. Yes, and um, I'm, I'm surprised he took this quick decision to join a losing government because uh, the, the, the coming elections, I'm very sure if there is no stealing again, uh, Jubilee will definitely lose the election as it has always done. It lost in 2013, it lost uh, in the just concluded election. There was overwhelming, you know, um, information showing that uh, uh, the, the election was stolen. So I, I, I'm surprised a, a person of the stature of Musila can join uh, election thieves. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, because the evidence is there and we can prove so, so that uh, we must stop this stealing of election in the country. So it must be free right. and fair election. So you say the election was stolen, but yes. just uh, if you could go by those numbers, uh, in Kitui, uh, 64,000 people voted for, uh, for, for Jubilee, around 84,000 in Machakos. These are contested numbers, of course. Yes. But are you, have you really locked down Okambani? Well, one or two people like Joe Mutambo will vote for Uhuru, uh, the active president. Uh, and uh, a lot of them, over 90%, will definitely not vote for him. So if I were Jubilee, I would not waste my energies in a place. I'm not likely to get any much vote. I don't, I don't think, I think there's a perception here which we need to correct. Yes. And it is very wrong to mislead Kenyans. We all listened to the proceedings of the court. And there is nowhere where court said election was stolen, or there were any votes which Uhuru Mwingai Kenyatta stole. So it is a very wrong impression to give Kenyans that the election was stolen. Well, I think Manzo being a well, lawyer, a and he was, in that, he, he was in that court, <coughs> and he never arose to say this election, or oh, these votes were stolen. Right. We know why the election were nullified, 
and we went to school. And we can understand, yes, the, 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 the Supreme Court came from a point of there were malpractice, but they never cited any election or vote which was but stolen. Kenyans are still and number for, two, number two, judgment. the numbers and the figures were right. not dis dis disputed. Nobody said these numbers are not correct. What they are saying, this form one, from that four A or B, had no stamp there, had no stamp, and somebody right. never signed, which is not the case. What the court should have done, actually, is to say, okay, fine, the Kenyan people have spoke, spoken. These are the numbers. These other forms are being generated by you, by Banzo, who right. were given some work to do. The only sensible thing the court could have done is to tell these people, okay, can you make new forms? All right, so very, that very quickly. The, the yes, yes. Well, well, the substantive judgment is going to be released soon, and Kenyans will see the figures, and uh, there is overwhelming evidence of malpractice which amounts to stealing of the vote. Uh, it cannot be any other thing, it cannot be described in any other manner. And I think it's very dishonorable. Uh, to, to be sworn as a president when you know very well that uh, you have stolen that opportunity. All right. So I think this time that around Kenyans should not allow any stealing whatsoever at whatever level. Mutambo, there are people who look at you, some pundits, especially from the lower eastern uh, parts of Kenya, who look at you and Musila and the likes of, uh, uh, you know, Nimrod Mbai, Twekumba, and as, as people who have sold out on the Ukambani region, what do you mean in terms by, of political what ideals. Selling? What do you mean by selling? I don't understand when you say that. Because the same people I'm working with, one, Kalonzo Musioka worked with them before. And I don't understand, and I don't know if Kalonzo Musioka joining code is selling canvas to code, all right? How come when Jomu Tambu joins the president, is selling? And when Kalonzo is joining president, he's not selling. When Kalonzo and demands and the likes joins Raila, how much did they get from Raila? They need to tell us if that is the issue. If the issue is about selling others. So we want to know, because I think and I want to believe Maanzo took the bigger I mean share to, 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 to NASA. All right. How much they got, right? And if they went there by their own cohesion and they are they are exercising their democratic right to join NASA, so am I. I'm exercising my democratic right to join uh, Jubilee. All right. Because so of there time. There should be no sellout or sold out or whatever. I mean, Thank you. The it, likes of Mr. Mutambu and Alfred Mutua think that it is, it is time for company politics to change. That Kalonzo Musyoka's time is over. Do you believe that? No, it is a time which is over. And that's why Mutu has stolen the election. We, are, we have taken him to court. We proved to court that he did so. He was not validly elected as a governor, and I'm sure the court will do so. Mutambo lost miserably. He had been posted before that he win with or without Kalonzo, without the rest of the voters. So now you can see where they are. They have lost. All right. We will win the next uh, presidential election. I'm sure they will come back looking for us. Thank you. Mutambu, where do you see Ukambani politics going? From where you see it? Uh, from where I see it, and I want to disagree with Manzo. I will tell you, I'll tell Manzo, it's only that I'm one person who does not cling to the seat. I know I never lost, but that is not a case for here. I'm not going to You should have gone that. to court. I know people <coughs> from Winky Central, and I still command that respect. If people... Okay, command respect because they are in seats. Then Kalonzo would be. Kalonzo is out there, but he's still, and we have to be honest, he's still respected by Kambas. I'm out there, I'm still respected by people of Mwingi Central. And I'm saying I am proud loser. All you right. need to understand that. It's right. not the question of being to the seat. It's the question, you don't need to be, or you don't have to be elected You're to be You're going to come leader. back. No, you don't have to be elected to be a leader. Right. You can perform those duties irrespectively of where you are. Right. What is important is the command, the respect you command in your place. And right. I know I do that. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Uh, Joe Mutambu, former member of parliament for Mwingi Central and uh, member of parliament for Makweni in the county of Makweni, Dan Manzo. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we'll wait to see what happens. It is 35 days uh, to the October 17th general election. That's where we leave it on Kivumbi 2017. I am Ben Kitili. Don't go too far. The top of the hour, Linda Ogutu is coming up shortly with KTN Prime.